Good day and peace be with you. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of January 2024. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, we give you all the glory as we are blessed by your grace and mercy to see another day. And we are hearing your word today. We are feeding our soul. And we, dear Lord Father, a place in our lives in your hands. Dear Lord Father, in all your graciousness as we go through the day, we are gently reminded that no matter what, through our worries and our anxieties, we should lift them all up to you in any circumstances in prayer. Lord God, we pray that your word over our worries and our anxious hearts will, dear Lord Father, give us peace. We thank you that we can rejoice no matter what we are going through and that through it all, you are just, dear Lord Father, refining us into a strong and hope-filled people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Our reading for reflection today continues from the second book of Peter, chapter 1, verses 12 to 21. And the theme for reflection for today is, We ourselves heard this voice. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. So, I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you now have. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body, because I know that I will soon put it aside as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me, and I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honour and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable and you would do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things, for prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Remember to share the good news with others. Encourage others to know the word for themselves. And may you have a blessed day. Amen.